Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. So you can see the 26th through the 1st, or seven days from the date that you watch it. What is it, the 26th through the 1st, or the 25th through the 1st? I think today's the 25th. Doesn't matter, okay, it's for the next week. I think it's... <laughs> until the first okay maybe we got quite a few cards here what do we got we're gonna take them we are gonna take them uh ooh, maybe we shouldn't uh tree uh funnel funnel period of frustration a lesson to be learned so you have a period of frustration this week Tree, affairs with your family. So there's going to be affairs with your family. We have a period of ill health and depression. We have casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. So something is coming to an end. Love is in the air, so there's and this is a this is a major perhaps as you know it's a house, so love is going to be affected your love life. So I don't know if there's what's going on here. Um, period of frustration, lesson to be learned, a period of ill health, depression, affairs with your family, someone going out of your life, or the end of a situation. This may obviously it has to do with love, or there's love in the air, and we have one more chain of events that affect your life so there's a chain of events that are going to be affecting your life could just be the end of a situation who knows what's going on there's going to be a, probably it has something to do with your family what do we have for taurus Boxing gloves, boxing gloves. So that can go a couple different ways. You may need to get out your boxing gloves or you need to put them away. Let's see what happens. What do we got for Taurus? My boxing gloves are pink, not red. Anyhow, what else do we got? Ooh, shared values. You may be striking up a deal with somebody this week. Shared values. I mean, you may be striking up a deal with somebody. Maybe you've been frustrated. Something is about to happen. There's going to be a change of events that affect your life. A situation is coming to an end. Maybe it's where it's that is after a period of ill health and depression is the situation is coming to an end. So I don't know if you've been sick or you've been depressed. Maybe that's what's coming to an end. Mm. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? Okay. Eight of Cups, this represents the situation, okay? This is the situation right now, goodbye. Uh, leaving something emotionally disappointing behind. So somebody is saying goodbye, right? This is a necessary but painful alteration. There's no happiness there. Uh, this is a departure. Somebody is going somewhere. What's the challenge? Knight of Cups I may mean, have to do, obviously it's about a relationship. Knight of Cups, it's about love. Maybe saying goodbye to a relationship, maybe it's an unrequited love situation. This one is reversed. It's because it's, uh, the way that it landed, it's, a it's, on the, it's your challenge. This has to do with a relationship, it has to do with love. Maybe you're saying goodbye to somebody or they're saying goodbye to you. Eight of Pentacles reversed. That's somebody not putting in effort. That's why. That's why there's a goodbye. Eight of Pentacles not putting in much effort, not trying hard enough. Something isn't working out. We have somebody here that's unwilling to put in effort. They're unwilling to uh, make it work. Okay. Okay. Chariot. In the past. Six of Coins. 
Six of coins is the near future. So you're about to receive something. But in the past, I feel like there's been some, but there's been some sort of movement. There's been somebody here that has taken charge. They've taken the lead. They may have came into your life or you've traveled, there's some sort of travel. It's like there's been some sort of arrival. There's been some opposition. I feel like you've been dealing with some opposition. You've been uh, remaining in control of your emotions. You've been determined to be successful. That's where you've been. You've been in a place where you've been highly determined, probably dealing with some opposition, but staying in control, controlling yourself. In the future, the near future, you're going to be receiving something because that's the Six of Pentacles. So you are going to be receiving something. Maybe you're just going after what you deserve. Queen of Wands in your future. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There could be somebody that is coming in. Um, there's been, there, Maybe there's been some opposition or there's been some sort of delay. I feel like you're going to be... Uh, ready. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready because I feel like there's something that is coming that you are not ready for. Maybe you are. And you may be unprepared. You may be unprepared for something. Mm. Presently, I feel like you are looking for reciprocation. You're looking for balance. You're trying really hard to uh, bring balance to your life. You're, you're focusing. You're really, really focusing with that chariot and the six of coins. You're focusing on what you deserve. This is about give and take. It's about reciprocation. Whoever you've been dealing with hasn't really been putting in much effort. There's been a lot of opposition. But in the future is the Queen of Wands. This is somebody who is very action-oriented. You know, that gets a vision and takes action. So I'm wondering, I feel like this is another person. I feel like there is somebody that is going to be approaching you with some sort of um, exciting opportunity. I'm going to have to move this over here. We have the Seven of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Fool, and the King of Swords reversed as the potential outcome. So the King of Swords reversed could be somebody that is closed off. But the Fool is an exciting new beginning. I think that you're hoping for a new beginning. I feel like you are ready. I feel like you're also dealing with somebody that is ready. You're going to be starting a new journey. You are. This could definitely be a new beginning with the Page of Wands right underneath it. I think that you're going to be receiving an offer or an invite from somebody to go in a new direction. Maybe even traveling. Some of you may be moving. You may be traveling or you're planning it. You're planning travel. You're definitely going to be starting something new. There's no doubt about it. You're going to be starting something new. This is very exciting. I think that uh, your advice is to consider your options. Be open-minded. Don't let fear get in the way. Be, be courageous. You're going to be put in a position where you, you have a chance to go someplace because I, I feel like there's a lot of movement here. You know, you, you may be getting an offer from somebody that involves travel or you may be traveling. Maybe maybe something is happening where you're going to need to travel. I feel like right now um, you have options. You have a lot of options. I feel like you need to consider your options. You need to consider the consequences. You're going to be right now. This is your advice, the seven of cups. OK, this is your what you need to think about. You need to think about your options. Think about your choices. I feel like you also need to be aware of false beginnings because it feels like you're going to be receiving something an offer with the page of wands. I feel like you're going to be receiving an offer. Okay. Somebody is going to be giving you an offer. This is somebody that is very spontaneous. This person is adventurous. You know, they do things. They're risky. They take risks. This is somebody that feels like it's a fire sign energy because we have the page of wands, the queen of wands, the fool could also be dealing with a cancer, I suppose, but I feel, or a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but I feel like it's strong fire energy. I feel like you're going to be receiving an offer or an invite, okay, to go in a new direction, okay? Um, 
to start something new, okay? You are going to be doing something new with that Fool card. I feel like you're going to be stepping into unknown territory. You're going to be starting a new project, starting a new journey, um, leaving something behind. Maybe it's fear because if you were to take on that Queen of Wands energy, that's a fearless energy. Maybe you let go of your fear and you do something brave. You do something courageous, um, I think that you are going to be partnering up with somebody with that shared values card. But with that King of Swords reversed in the outcome, I don't know. I got I to gotta get another card on that. You're going to be receiving an offer from somebody that uh, can probably bring some money. Can bring some money because the Six of Pentacles is money. I feel like you can. this could increase your money. Um, but whoever you're you're going to be dealing with or partnering up with, I feel like this is an equal opportunity for you both to benefit. I feel like you both have the same values where you can benefit equally. Um, I don't know if you've been fighting with somebody because of those boxing gloves. That could be it's time to put up the boxing gloves, you know, or something like that. Or somebody may be putting up a fight. It could go either way. Um, I do think you're going to be striking up a deal, shaking hands with somebody, starting on a new endeavor. There's, an, I'm pretty sure that you are. But what is this King of Swords reversed? Justice. Justice. I don't know. You got to be careful. You got to be careful about legalities here. King of Swords as well. And that's in reverse. Be careful who you're dealing with. Make sure this person is trustworthy. Um, justice is a card of integrity. It's a card of truth. It's a card of um, decisions. A fair and just decision. Make Somebody is going to be making a decision. But I, with that King of Swords reverse, I'm not sure if it's a trustworthy individual that you're dealing with. Uh, this may somebody that's be somebody that's only looking out for their own good. This could be somebody that is power crazed. But justice is a card of acting with integrity, doing the right thing. Let's get another card. Um, there could be legalities though here. And the Seven of Cups is beware, beware, beware of false beginnings. Choose wisely, choose wisely who you, you're going to be presented with an option here where you have to consider, you have to consider your options and you have to beware of false beginnings. The outcome, justice, Contract, contract. This does have to do with a contract. Two of Wands, Two of Wands, Two of Wands is a spur of the moment decision at a crossroads. Maybe we have somebody that wasn't be, they wasn't, they didn't, they couldn't make a decision. They were being indecisive. The King of Swords reverse could be indecisive, um, unsure, lack of clarity, but there's some sort of truth here maybe there's some truth being revealed there's some truth coming out making a decision definitely but justice in the two of wands somebody has been uh i don't know king of swords reverse is closed off uh not communicating maybe they were choosing maybe they were they weren't communicating because they were making a choice but that's the outcome uh Tower reversed. Whoo! So you never saw it coming. You never saw it coming. This is a permanent change, unavoidable. It's a, we have an unavoidable change here. Major disruption. Sudden, extremely sudden. Maybe it's a change of heart because the King of Swords could be some in reverse. Could be somebody that was cold and they were withdrawn and they have a change of heart. The tower reversed is an unavoidable change. It could be moving, move. King of coins. King of Coins. I wonder if this this could have something to do with a father. Definitely has to do with a masculine, a masculine energy. The King of Coins is somebody that is very practical, logical, um, hardworking, stable. Focuses on stability. Focuses on abundance. 
uh, has earned a lot of respect for their hard work, wants, this is a businessman or somebody that has their own business or works really hard to obtain uh, financial security. So somebody is, maybe they weren't logical or they weren't being practical or they, with that king of swords reversed, but there's a fair and just decision that is now being made. I feel like you're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked. It may have to do with a legal contract. You're probably going to be surprised. I feel like you're, you're in for a big surprise of some sort. You're going to be receiving something that you do not expect. I feel like it's financial. I I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a maybe it's a new job or it's a it's an offer offer from somebody that uh can increase your money, increase your abundance, okay? You're going to be receiving something that is going to surprise you. It may may require some sort of move or or something like that. An offer or an invite is coming. Good news is coming. This is an opportunity to uh, start over. We have, a, we have start fresh with that fool card. You're, somebody is also was obviously someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. I do feel like you are leaving something behind with that eight of cups. You're leaving something behind. I think it's an unrequited love situation. I'm not sure. Or it's a loveless situation. Or somebody that you've been waiting on is leaving something behind. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We definitely have a departure from an unrequited love situation. Somebody is headed towards balance because they're headed right towards the Six of Coins, okay? This, this Eight of Cups is, is like this, okay? So that Eight of Cups towards the Six of Coins, somebody is headed towards balance. They're headed towards what they deserve. They're headed towards something uh, equal, you know, something that will give them, okay? So there's something going on here. Somebody is, is walking away from an emotionally upsetting situation right into... I don't know, for some of you, this is an increase of money. It could be an inheritance. It could be a new job. It could be a raise. Whatever it is, they're walking into something that... Uh, gives them, okay? They're about to receive. They're about to receive what they deserve. Walking away from this unrequited love situation gives you... A benefit okay you are headed towards I, I think it's a financial situation where you I do with the king of coins I also feel like there's somebody that uh, has been watching you that hasn't been communicating um, they've been keeping to themselves maybe they've been waiting for that moment that spur of the moment they've been waiting maybe that's why the king of swords is in, re in reverse they've been waiting for the perfect moment um, so yeah, I do think you're going to be receiving an offer and it could be a job offer or something like that if, or to partner up with somebody that can bring you abundance. It, it definitely. I feel like you're going to be in a position of power. I feel like you're, you're going to be looking really good. You're going to be vibrating very high. Um, Death card reversed. Something isn't over yet. It's not over. Hangman, hangman. Somebody's been thinking a lot. They've been thinking. They've been taking a time out. They've been sacrificing themselves for a cause. They've been resisting. There's been some sort of delay in change. There has, but I feel like the delay is over. I feel like the delay is over. Somebody's been sacrificing themselves for something, but holding on is getting old. Action is being taken. Action is being taken. This is an opportunity. Whoever they're working with now isn't putting in any effort. You're going to be given the offer. You're going to be given the opportunity. You definitely, definitely, definitely are. This is, this is something long-term. 
okay? This is, this is a financial success. It's permanent, a permanent opportunity, something that you can put in the bank. This is a new home, a new job, a new business, starting a family. Could even be an inheritance, starting a, a legacy, the beginning of a legacy, something like that. something you can hold on to that you're going to be getting an offer that really increases your abundance the ten of pentacles is the ultimate abundance this is financial success you're going you're going to be partnering up with somebody that can you know there's equal it's an equal opportunity you both will receive the abundance this the six of pent the six of pentacles is an equal opportunity it is it is. It's where there's reciprocations, where you both work together to obtain this financial success. So you're going to be partnering up with somebody, and whether it's a new job or whatever it is, you're going to be seeing an increase. You may be, some of you may be receiving an inheritance, you know, that you don't expect. I mean, that's definitely not going to be from everybody, but I do see casket. We have some sort of major disruption. Somebody's saying goodbye. Six of Pentacles can be an inheritance. Ten of Pentacles can be inheritance. I would not get your hopes up. I'm just saying. An offer or an invite is coming. You're going to be going in a new direction. You're going to be starting a new journey. This is the beginning of a new journey. It is. It's the beginning of a new chapter of your life. It is. But you have to choose wisely. Choose wisely. Beware. Beware of false beginnings. I, this is some sort of contract, okay, with that justice card. Everything's going to turn out as it should because... Justice is upright. So the laws of karma, you know, something is happening where you're going to get exactly what you deserve. I think it's positive because the king of pentacles is upright. I think you're going to be happy with whatever it is that you're receiving. I really, really do. One more card and that's it. Chain of events that will affect your life may have something to do with your family. Also, we have love here, so it's interesting. We do have a fallout as well, though, with the tower reverse. So there's some sort of fall, unexpected, unexpected fall or unexpected change. There's going to be an unexpected change. King of Wands, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that is probably getting all their ducks in a row. This is a leader. This is a boss. This is a action-oriented person who typically um, gathers all their information and gets people together to get things in order you know, this is somebody that is very orderly, that is probably getting things in order, getting ready, getting ready. Um, making, this is a decision maker. This is a boss or a, a business owner as well that is going to be taking charge. We have a perfect match here as well. I, we do. We have a perfect match. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So whenever that happens, it doesn't matter what sign you are. It means we, we have, you're going to be matching up with somebody that you have shared values with. This is a perfect match. It's a match. I feel like the delay is just about over. Maybe this is something you've been waiting for. Maybe it's something you've been waiting for. I feel like there's been some sort of move in the past with the chariot. Somebody may have moved or something like that. Um, there a move is happening. Um, taking action. 
Somebody is taking action. They are. They're taking action. They're going to be doing something very, very brave. You're going to be partnering up with somebody. Good luck with that.